Alright, time for another video, and this is going to be a bit of an odd one. It's both simultaneously a good thing and, uh, well, a bit perplexing. So the time walking feature has officially been unveiled by Blizzard, and while I'm extremely excited about the idea of doing those old dungeons again, I've got to say the system surrounding it is one of the most perpe uh, just perplexingly silly things that I've seen in quite a while. First of all, in this video, I'll go through what Blizzard said, and then I'll give you some of my thoughts on the topic. So, first of all, they are, in 6.2, introducing seven different kinds of weekend events that will run noon Friday to noon Monday, and two of those events will be time-walking weekends. I'm going to assume that maybe you'll have a Burning Crusade one and then a Wrath of the Lich King one. Now, during these weekends, you'll be able to queue up for a randomly selected old-school dungeon, and they say it's roughly on a kind of heroic difficulty. Now, when you time walk the dungeons, your character is scaled down to the level of that dungeon, which makes quite a deal of sense. And the odd thing about it is that the rewards are a bit different to what we would normally get. Essentially, the loot that you get in these instances will scale up to your character's level when you leave the time walker instance. So, the example they gave was the Red Sword of Courage from Guard Keep. When you pick that thing up, Basically, when you leave, it will now be at an appropriate item level, so, you know, 600 and something. I think that's really strange, and I don't really think it's needed to be done that way. Um, I'll continue on with what they're doing, though. So, there are only going to be a few different dungeons, at least on the PTR, and they are the Alcatraz, Black Morass, Mana Tombs, Shattered Halls, and Slave Pens. Then for the Wrath of the Lich King, we've got Anket, the Old Kingdom, Gundrak, the Halls of Lightning, the Nexus, and Utgard Pinnacle. Additionally, you'll be able to time walk a Burning Crusade instance if you're level 71 or higher, and you'll be able to time walk a Wrath one if you're 81 or higher. And uh, that's, that's essentially it. The main reward seems to be this gear. However, they did say that they will be testing additional rewards, and they mentioned uh, one of them being a Seal of Tempered Fate. Per weekend, and we're to keep an eye on the in-game calendar for that. Alright, so I think this is a really strange way of doing things. Let's start up with the gear stuff. So first of all, two people with main characters, and I think mainly we should be focusing on, well, mains here. That's just not at all useful, exciting, or relevant, because you can already get those bits of gear by uh, just going and doing the regular dungeon instead of the Time Walker one. So that gear, in terms of its, you know, aesthetics and transmog value, is of no difference in Time Walker. So that doesn't make a great deal of sense. Now that means that Time Walker is more going to be a gearing up mechanic for your alts, because it's roughly at a heroic dungeon level. Well, that's fine. If you're gearing up your alts, then uh, you're not going to be depending on something which is a weekly event. So... It's bizarre, this is kind of useless for everyone. If you want to do these for gear, well, you're only going to be able to do them on very certain weekends. Maybe one weekend a month will be when you have access to the, you know, these. I think that's strange, and then of course, like, the Red Sword of Courage, Time Walker version that scales up, is no different from the Red Sword of Courage regular version that doesn't scale up in terms of taking it to the transmog person and transmogging your sword to look like that. So I think that whole aspect is just a bit out of whack. They need to decide what this is. Is this a full-on, like, way to gear up your alts? Because if so, then why is it on this weekend timer? Maybe, or do they have queue concerns? I don't think that will be a massive issue, honestly. But yeah, it just seems like a strange limitation. Now, if they really wanted this to appeal to people's main characters, then there would have to be additional reasons to go there other than gear. And let's be honest, if this is going to be a heroic dungeon level of gear, just about anyone is going to surpass this on their main character. Hell, most of my alts will probably be at an item level similar or higher than this because I've been participating in the garrison missions and getting that free raid gear. So, not of much use to the, to the mains, and if they were to make it of interest to people with mains, they would have to do a few things. First of all, there need to be something unique to doing it on Time Walker, so that comes back to the idea of them experimenting with rewards. Yeah, technically a Seal of Tempered Fate is an okay reward, but oh god, that's so boring. I mean, really. Is that going to get people excited for Time Walker weekend? You know? Oh wow, I can get my Seal of Tempered Fate that I could have just bought from the Arakoa vendor. I don't think that's really a very effective strategy. Maybe they could throw in a new mount or a new, you know, transmog set or something like that. A while ago, in fact, ages ago when I discussed this idea, I passed around the notion of having 
transmog sets for each expansion, so they could roll out the Time Walker feature, having just the Burning Crusade expansion, and then make some transmog sets you could earn within those dungeons on Time Walker difficulty that could be unique. Maybe they could be taking some of the gear from the Burning Crusade and just up it and making it look shinier and new. That could be done, and, um, you know, something like that I think would be extremely effective in terms of getting people interested in going back there. A few battle pets would be fine, I suppose, but I don't know if that's got the broadest appeal, and, uh, yeah, maybe there could be a title, achievement, blah blah blah, a few toys, but certainly I think transmog sets and mounts are things that a lot of people do generally seem to like, so that would be good. And in terms of other things, like, they could give us Apexis, they could give us garrison resources, I don't think either of those are going to be particularly interesting things. Um, so it's it's a bit odd overall, really. I'm interested to see where they go with exploring with additional rewards, but what I will say is personally, if I was designing this, it would very much be designed in a different way. Instead of focusing on the gear scaling up, I would be focusing on the sort of cool stuff that you can earn inside these dungeons, and really I would try to provide rewards that kind of call back to those expansions and really evoke that feel while still providing a little bit of endgame relevance. Um, yeah, I just don't think they're really doing it the right way. Now, in terms of other things, the the whole weekend thing, I just think that is absolutely unnecessary. Is it that they want to really prop this up as being a super special thing, or is it, and I know I am a bit of a cynic sometimes, but it does sound like this whole weekend event thing is a bit of a retention mechanic. They're going to hold some of this content back, so instead of doing it when you want, no, it's held back to, you know, a weekend. And that weekend might be, say, a month away, if you're waiting from one Time Walker weekend to another. And that, you know, to Blizzard might mean there's more of a chance of someone staying subbed because they just want to hold out and wait for Wrath of the Lich King Time Walking Month. I just think it's really unnecessary. Just let us go in and do this awesome content. There's no need to hold it back. And I think what's especially weird is that it is a, a bit of dungeon content, and that being tied in a weekend is strange. I could understand if it was maybe a world event, and then that was what their weekend would be, but as far as I'm concerned, something that is instanced like this isn't really a world event, and it should be available on a more a la carte basis. So, my initial thoughts on this are really... I'm interested in the functionality, and I just hope they balance the rewards right and scrap that silly weekend policy because I think they are running the risk of really squandering something that could be just a very, very interesting and, and fun feature. Plus, additionally, there are no new dungeons being added in patch 6.2, so it does seem like part maybe that they are putting decent gear on these dungeons to sort of soften that blow or get around the issue, you know? It's like, Right, we didn't add a new dungeon, but you can do all of these old ones and get gear that's sort of good, so yeah, go do that, wink wink, nudge nudge, don't, uh, don't complain about the lack of a new dungeon. Maybe they did that, maybe they didn't, but it's early days yet, and honestly, I have not seen a single bit of super positive feedback about the reward system and the general wrapping of the Time Walker feature. I've seen loads of people say, yeah, Time Walking, I love that idea, I want to go back and do that content, but I've not seen many people be super hyped about the whole weekend feature, so I would imagine that much of this will be changed during the PTR, and I certainly hope that it is changed. That's it for me, let me know what you think down in the comments, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.